Hello and welcome to Methodology, one of our 360 degrees of differentiation shorts. What does our methodology cover? Well, it covers the entire HIPAA privacy rule, security rule, and breach notification rule. All the regulations that from a compliance perspective we are generally interested in. So our methodology is uh, designed to cover all these rules and then some. Okay, so we assume that what you want to do and our methodology assumes and iterates you through no story, good story, fully compliant. We assume what you want to do and compliance auditors, HHS, assume that what you need to do is build a good compliance narrative over time. Now, what does that mean? It means getting better and better over time of having visible demonstrable evidence at the granularity level of a requirement. Okay, that's what HHS wants to see. They understand that you're not going to be fully compliant on day one. In fact, fully compliant is probably an aspirational goal that you never reach. This is an ongoing narrative that you uh, have to build. So likely there are many of you that have no story, even though you think you have a story. Okay, if you haven't updated your policies and procedures, your risk assessments and things of that sort, since the High Tech Act came out in 2009, you're in willful neglect land. Okay, you have no story, right? We need to move you quickly to the good story part of the continuum. And that's what we do. We move from zero to 60 really, really fast using an agile methodology. And again, you'll likely never get to a fully compliant status and that's not the objective. Okay, what are we trying to do? All right, we are trying to risk Reduce risk to levels that are reasonable and appropriate. Now, those are the weasel words that are found in the security rule. Reasonable and appropriate, according to uh, an organization of your size, complexity, resources, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Ultimately, a, court, a federal court is going to decide what reasonable and appropriate means in a given case. Okay, but those are the words used in the security rule. Reduce risk to levels that are reasonable and appropriate. That's what we we are trying to do from an overall objective perspective and. From a practical perspective, what we want to do is Katrina proof your practice and manage. Imagine Katrina hitting your practice and, and, and potentially wiping you out. Are you ready? Will your patient record survive? Are you going to be able to get up and running quick? OK, from a practical matter, this is what you would want to do anyway. All right. This is this is cybersecurity IT 101. Our agile methodology helps you get there quick. So what is agile methodology? OK, well, there are a million ways to describe it. So here are a few. Agile compliance is a group of methods based on an iterative and incremental approach. You're gonna eat this elephant one bite at a time. Agile promotes adaptive planning, evolutionary development and implementation. Every organization is different. You're gonna get there by doing stuff, fixing stuff, going back, doing it again, and so forth, right? You're gonna iterate your way through to a solution that works for your organization. Agile compliance at its foundation is a conceptual framework that promotes foreseen interactions throughout the implementation cycle and acknowledges that due to the changing operational, technical, and regulatory environment, the implementa implementation cycle really never ends. This is the whole idea about changing your organization's DNA as, as you think about compliance. Compliance is not this once and done thing. Okay, you have to change the way you think about compliance because it's something that you need to live with over time. And ultimately, it needs to be part of the value proposition that you uh, put in place to deliver value to your customers. Okay, so the essence of agile compliance is fail forward fast, get started, get busy. Okay, and that's what our methodology allows you to do. And that's what our, what our uh, the risk assessment express allows you to do. And that's what our 35 plus product remediation and training uh, products allow you to do is get busy, climbing the curve, get from zero to 60 really, really quick. Why? Okay, because iter iteration is the only effective way of solving a wicked problem. And a wicked problem is a problem that has more organizational social complexity than it has technical complexity. The complexity that you're going to find really, really challenging in impl implementing a HIPAA initiative is going to be found in your organization. How do you convince the executive team what to do? How do you get them to review these policies and procedures before you distribute them to everybody for signature? How do you get them on board with respect to training and how much training is required and what kind of training? should you use all these things are organizational problems not necessarily technical problems. okay and here are some characteristics of wicked problems you really don't understand the problem until you start solving it. i guarantee you that you don't understand your initiative 
uh, until you start solving it. That's the experience uh, that we've had when we first climbed the curve, that's the experience that every one of our customers have. They have an aha moment, okay, at some point, once they're into solving the problem. There's no stopping rules, since there's no definitive problem, there can't be no definitive solution. There's nothing that's right or wrong, just some solutions are better than others, or some are good enough, okay? And every every uh, wicked problem is unique and novel because every organization is unique and novel. So it turns out that big problems, like a HIPAA initiative or a GDPR initiative, requires many, many, many small solutions. That's how you get there. You don't get there as a big bang uh, type of effort, right? And that's what Agile does. So we also in in incorporate our whole micro learning, learning management system, having broken down our learning now into 70 plus modules that are in smaller chunks. Fifth, some are 15 minutes or less, some are five minutes or less, so that you can digest the elephant one bite at a time. You just can't get all this uh, in your head at, at, at uh, intervals that are greater than that. It's been proving, that's why micro learning is really taking off. Our agile methodology supports that. We also support with the same methodology, multiple compliance regime. Right now, HIPAA, GDPR, on our way to supporting PCI, DSS, and others, okay? You get full text access to the regulations within our products as context-sensitive help. This is part of the methodology, part of the learning. If you want to go and see what a particular definition is, go to the text and read it. This is part of the education process. It's literacy, 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 but you have to have a process, a methodology that gets you there. This is what our Agile methodology does. We are and have been a thought leader in the compliance space, right? We came up with the concept of the compliance stack. So you can think holistically about compliance and how it applies to e-discovery and how it applies to data retention and ultimately how it applies to information governance. You should think about compliance uh, and, and HIPAA within this holistic information governance space, okay? We provide you project plans, sprints, we call them chunks so that you know these are tasks that you can do and get started. Get your training and awareness done, okay? And we have multiple tracks. Each track has multiple chunks and you don't have to pick any order. We are just giving you something and our methodology is providing you these tools so you're not staring at that blank sheet of paper, okay? We have a foundation track, a core track, an essential track, and that's required track. And the best advice we can give you is pick a chunk and a track and get busy and start doing stuff, okay? That is the best advice that we can give you. We are providing you tools, but get busy failing fast because that's how you're gonna learn fast. This is counterintuitive, but this is now the way wicked problems are solved across all kinds of spaces, not only compliance, but software engineering, et cetera, et cetera. So here are our, here's our foundation track, and these are the chunks that are underneath it. Our core track, our essential track, or as required track, and then you can roll your own, right? We are giving you uh, ways to get started. Plus we have a complete HIPAA initiative project plan. If you want it laid out in Microsoft Project and you prefer to think of it in those terms, we also have that available for you. Our methodology support, supports scorecards. You can't manage what you don't measure. We have scorecards that track every single one of the requirements of the privacy rule. So you can give yourself a rating. All right, zero means it's missing, one means it's planned, three means, uh, two means we have a basic implementation, et cetera, et cetera. So if an auditor or a court of law or, or the management team wants to know where are you in your initiative across the three rules, you can reply vis-a-vis -vis the use of our scorecards, okay? One for the privacy rule, one for the security rule, and one for cloud, social media, and mobile requirements, okay? This has been an overview of our agile, our agile methodology. Please listen to some of our other 360 degree differentiators. You'll find out why we are different from the competition. Thank you for listening. See you next time.